YouTube reverses policy will now allow election fraud claims. Let's dive into the details, shall we? YouTube has announced a reversal of its election integrity policy, stating that it will now leave up content that makes claims of fraud, errors, or glitches in elections, including the much-debated 2020 presidential election and previous U.S. elections. The company confirmed this decision to Axios on Friday, emphasizing that maintaining the policy may hinder political speech without effectively reducing the risk of real-world harm or violence. They're just now coming to this conclusion. How interesting. The policy was initially established by YouTube in December of 2020 after the much-contested 2020 election. However, with the changed landscape and the 2024 campaigns well underway, the company acknowledged the need to reevaluate the effects of the policy. During a recent CNN town hall, Trump said that he would suspend talk about election fraud unless he sees election fraud. Hmm. Two years Two years, tens of thousands of video removals, and one election cycle later, we recognized it was time to reevaluate the effects of this policy in today's changed landscape, a statement from YouTube said. With that in mind, and with 2024 campaigns well underway, we will stop removing content that advance, advances false claims that widespread election fraud, errors, or glitches occurred in the 2020 and other past U.S. presidential elections. I think it's funny in the um, in the uh, statement they put in their false claims. They're like, oh, we gotta make sure we put in their false claims, you know, because the claims aren't real. We won't take them down, but you know, they're 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 still not real. The rest of our election misinformation policies remain in place, including those that disallow content aim aiming to mislead voters about the time, place, means, or eligibility requirements for voting, false claims that could materially, to materially discourage voting, including those disrupting the validity of voting by mail, the content that encourages others to interfere with democratic processes, the statement continued. Although YouTube stated that it had carefully deliberated this change, it did not provide specific examples of the factors or instances considered in making the determination. The platform plans to release more details about its approach to the 2024 election in the coming months. The revised policy, which takes effect immediately, does not affect YouTube's other rules concerning misinformation. Content that misleads voters about voting requirements, discourages voting, or incites interference with the democratic processes will continue to be subject to removal. How interesting is that? So, I don't even know what this really means. I, I think it's really interesting timing. I think they're getting prepared for the 2024 election. But at the same time, it says, um, incites interference with democratic processes. So, I don't know, that's probably going to be a good thing, because uh, I'm pretty sure we're looking at a Republican win, uh, at least not Joe Biden, not the Democrats most likely. And I'm glad they kind of put kept that in there, because if you see how the left is reacting to these state laws on, you know, transgender issues and stuff like that, um, they just go and raid these, the, these, these places, and... Um, they're definitely affecting democratic processes. And like I've said before, I think that is just, it's foreshadowing what's going to happen if if uh, Biden doesn't win. If Trump wins or DeSantis wins, yeah, I think what the left is going to do is going to make like January 6th of 2020 look like it's nothing. But you know, that's just my opinion. What is your opinion on this story? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily news updates. Hit that notification bell and share this video to spread the news. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.